feel like God is telling me to write. I don't really know what that is going to be like, but I'm tired of asking questions, so here goes it. Past few days have been sort of weird. I've had so much time just to sit and think, and it's gone to the point where it's becoming debilitating rather than life-giving. Depression. Something that I don't really like saying that I have because I feel like everyone experiences it in some form. But for me, it has become real. I just get in moods where I don't know what to do. I sit and think about what I could be doing, but then every single option that pops into my head, I find something wrong with. Then I'm stuck, sitting and thinking in the same place for hours, feeling bad about myself that I've wasted so much time not being productive. F productivity. I don't know what's wrong with me. Is this just a part of the human experience? Or am I experiencing something that is outside of the natural world? Spiritual warfare is real, but I don't really know much about it. When I'm depressed, I turn towards lawlessness. I fantasize about what it would be like to live a life completely dependent on whatever I feel like doing. Getting a stable job, going out on the weekends, not worrying if what I'm doing is the right thing or not, because in this world, the only right is what feels good to me. We don't realize as humans how much our morals impact so many of our decisions. It's kind of an interesting fantasy. What would life be like if those were just taken away. Just a thought. To be honest, I thought I'd have more to write on this. When I have these thoughts, I quickly remind myself that a life like this would get old real quick. Old and dangerous. So we move. If you could lay your cards right down I am waiting on the table If you could show me love somehow We don't need to have a label You know that I will love you down I will be every kind of faithful If you could show me all the way around I've been wanting to find something that I could put my energy into outside of the 9 to 5 work I study business in college, so entrepreneurship has always been on my mind. I just haven't been able to figure out what to do. I started a shoe customizing business after I graduated, and honestly, I had a lot of fun. I lost a lot more money than I made, but I went after it. Next, I started a YouTube channel. YouTube has always been on my mind, ever since I was a kid. I always dreamed about being a YouTuber. So unique, right? There's just something to it that's been drawing me. When I was a kid, I mainly watched video game content, but as I get older, I started to get into vlogs. I found joy through these people filming their lives, and I can't fully describe, but there's something I believe God is breathing on here. There's a love of life that I experience when I'm watching these videos that is so rare. I wish I could articulate it. But it's funny because the normal things that seem so mundane to me in my own life tend to be very interesting when I get to experience them in other people's lives. Strange, huh? Whether it's them living in New York City, taking the subway to go get groceries, or them just experiencing the cold winter of the East Coast. Whatever it is, it's fascinating, but it's so simple. But through all this, I feel like God has been speaking to me that life is good. Life is good. Life is good. It can be a hard truth to wrap around your head, especially when you're someone like me who tends to look at life through a very glass half empty lens. I see the problems that humans face. I see the toil that people go through just trying to provide for their families. It seems like a large percent of humans hate their job, the thing that they spend most of their life doing. It's kind of a tragedy in and of itself. I see the trauma that has debilitated people. I see the coping mechanisms that we try to use and fill the void of emptiness on a day-to-day -day basis. Life can be broken, stressful, boring, painful, tiring, monotonous. It can tear you to pieces given the right circumstances. But despite all of this, I feel like God is saying life is good. I'm excited to continue to explore why. I guess I end with this. The more I've fallen in love with Jesus, the more discontent I felt with the things of the world. Can't fully describe it, but it's like the world has turned gray. I know in a way that this is supposed to be a good thing, and this is what's supposed to happen when we follow Jesus. As Christians, we want to be in the world, but not of the world. We don't want to be obsessed with the pleasures of the world because we can end up choosing them over him, and it can end up leading us into sin. I crave the presence of God more. And once you experience it, everything feels a little mundane. But on the other hand, I also feel like we need the things of the world to get by on a day-to-day -day basis. Don't get me wrong, I'm not talking about sin, just normal things. I don't find as much fulfillment in going shopping or traveling to another state or going bowling on a Friday night. Now please, don't get it twisted. I still have fun doing these things, but there's something that's missing. I know this is not a new discovery. I know nothing can fulfill us but Jesus. I know he is the ultimate prize. But in order to live on this earth and make it through not depressed every I feel day, like we need earthly things to work on, enjoy, and get by with. But I just have moments where I struggle with the feelings of mediocrity. I struggle existing in this perpetual state of deficiency. Please hear me on this. I don't want to wallow in despair, but I think depression reveals something we don't understand. It's almost like it's meant to be there because it pushes us to a place to ask the question, why? Why do I feel like this? Why am I tired of not being filled with living water? 
Why does my soul yearn for something greater than just what I see in front of me? Why, if I'm a Christian and I know Jesus, do I still struggle in this way? 2 Corinthians 5, 1. For we know that when this earthly tent we live in is taken down, that is, when we die and leave this earthly body, we'll have a house and have an eternal body made for us by God himself and not by human hands. We grow weary in our present bodies, and we long to put on our heavenly bodies like new clothes. For we will put on heavenly bodies, we will not be spirits without bodies. While we live in these earthly bodies, we groan and sigh. But it's not that we want to die and get rid of these bodies that clothe us. Rather, we want to put on our new bodies so that these dying bodies will be swallowed up by life. God himself has prepared us for this, and as a guarantee, has given us his Holy Spirit. Is it that simple? That we crave eternity in not only a decaying world, but also a decaying body. That moments of depression could maybe just be us wanting deeply to be in heaven with our Savior. For some reason, I feel like the answer can only be found in the darkest places, in the depths of despair. It's weird. Even as I read this verse, I kind of feel like he's talking about depression, but who knows?